I don't think the Jews uh, were in that uh, mode. I don't think they celebrated the death of a Jesus or a James brother of John, if he exists, or anyone else. And then he seized Peter and was in the Passover because he knew trouble was going to happen and he put him in prison. And this is the period where, where, where Peter escapes from prison. And um, he, 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 he goes up uh, to um, Jerusalem. And this is interesting. 12. He came to the house of Mary, the mother of John Mark. That's the first time we've ever heard of him. Another of these multiple, multiple characters. Mary, the mother of John Mark. If he was going to leave a message for James and the brothers, wouldn't he go to Mary, the mother of Jesus, to do that? Wouldn't he go to Mary the mother? Isn't that the logical place to go? Why would you go to the house of Mary the mother of John Mark and then tell James and all the brothers that I have that I have escaped and left the country? And which James is this in line 17? Go tell these things to James and to the brothers. And which brothers? All the brothers in the church or the brothers of Jesus? He's gone to Mary's house to leave a message for James. This is why I say Acts is just... You know, really, I take a whole class on Acts. I have to tell you that. Acts is just like a, a maze. And you have to have a lot of perspicuity to start to dig through the maze. You people say you have to a lot of, maybe say a lot of ill will or something. No. Uh, you get to have a lot of insight to see what's going on uh, beneath the surface of Acts, where they're getting this material, and if they are transforming it, how they are transforming it. I'm sure they're transforming it. But you see, this is very convenient. In the same chapter that the one James disappears, the other James appears. And look, if you were an ignorant person, you would say, what James? Who is this James in 17? I thought James was just killed. And you wouldn't know who this James was. Unless from outside sources you realize that James, the brother of Jesus, was the leader of the early church. And Acts up to this point has done its best to uh, conceal this point leaving him out of all the early first chapters and so on and so forth, all the chapters of visiting the Temple Mount, etc., 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 using this character called James, the brother of John, to conceal him, who is really of no significance in the history of the early church whatsoever, and so on. So, you know, I, I, this is what the subject of my James book was. So I have nothing to say about all that except to, uh, to point out uh, this issue concerning James and the central three. The gospel central three are Peter, John, and James' brother. And I submit is his brother the brother of Jesus or the brother of John? Everyone says his brother is the brother of John. And I would, uh, from Paul, I think it's clear the brother is the brother of Jesus. I don't know, maybe there was also a John and James, uh, too. I, I have no idea. I mean, this becomes totally confusing. But in any case, this uh, episode in Acts here is very interesting. Who's John Mark? And who's Mary? I would say that this is an obfuscation that Mary is the mother of the other brothers. That's my conclusion here. And the writer doesn't want to tell us this, so he just invents another Mary. We'll have about four different Marys here. Well, I don't think we have four different Marys. You just start to coalesce all the Marys down to basically one or two at the most. We don't have all these Mary, the mother of John and James, Mary, the, the mother of the brothers, uh, uh, Mary, the sister of her own sister, Mary in the Gospel of John, Mary, the mother of John Mark. No, no, no. Just, 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 just collapse them down. There's only a few characters, and the multiplication of the characters is because of theological issues that different writers uh, are worrying over. In any case, I would say that if this episode occurred, Peter says that he's got to leave the country. And, and by the way, this episode blames Peter because he gets his jailers killed because he escapes. What happened um, later when Paul has the same opportunity to escape from prison in an earthquake uh, when the prison fell down in Asia Minor? Do you remember that episode in Acts? Paul doesn't wish to escape. Why? He doesn't want the jailers to be punished. So you see, Paul is by implication superior to Peter. He doesn't want his jailers to be punished. Where Peter escapes and gets his jailers killed. Another 
quasi implication there that Peter is inferior to Paul. Now, you know, I don't think Peter is inferior to Paul. I'm a good Christian. I take the Peter the rock of the church seriously. And I don't like all this defamation of my Peter. But some folks uh, you know, like stories. And uh, it's a different, uh, it's a different uh, assessment, and everyone has to do their own assessment. But I like this one last point. And they recognized the voice of Peter, line 14. And she did not open the gate for pure, for pure joy. But running inside, she told them, Peter was standing in front of the gate. There's the standing again, the standing one at the gate. The gate. You say, is this just innocent writing, or has it got more charged material? I always think these things are charged. I may be wrong. Let me go back. I'm uh, told you it was going to be a semi. I haven't got very far. So here's a transfiguration type scene here. Now the arrest. Matthew 26, 47. And uh, the twelve, the, the, uh, the Judas, one of the twelve, came with a great multitude of swords and staves from the chief priests and the elders and the scribes. That's the synoptic version. I don't know why they need a great multitude and so on. Is there a civil war going on here, perhaps? Anyway, uh, one of them, 51, stretched out and his sword <coughs> and smote the servant of the high priest. Okay, that's the synoptics. John knows who this was, supposedly. This was Peter did this. But Jesus says, he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. Why do you need sword? So very clever statements here, and these may be historical, and may not, that's for you to decide. So I think uh, that's good enough there. Uh, and all the disciples fled, Matthew 26, 56. And then uh, Jesus, uh, according to Mark, a lot of people, particularly people who are into gay rights and things, make a lot of this one, that Jesus is supposed to be in a tent with some guy naked, doing some sort of uh, discoursing or teaching, according to Mark. And there's a lot of people into that orientation, particularly in uh, New Testament studies. And, um, Smith, I think uh, his name was Morton Smith, he was made a lot out of this, the secret teaching Jesus was communicating naked to this fellow. And a certain young man followed with him uh, in Mark, and having a linen cloth cast about him, an Essene, over his naked body, they lay hold on him. But he left the linen cloth and fled away naked. Jesus was in the tent there or doing something with his half-naked guy, and this is very big for the people who are into that aspect of, uh, you know, you can just blow all these things up to huge proportions, depending on your particular in interest. The trial before uh, 